Welcome back, everyone, to a brand new Lush Life video. I'm your host, Leon, joined here by the illustrious Mrs. Lush, my wife and co-host. Did yeah. I just clap for myself? Yeah. Cool. Since I'm a romantic at heart, and ask my wife, she, she knows, I wanted to turn things up a little bit in the studio here. Stop, the I can't, hang on, the, I can't. <laughs> you can't take yourself seriously. I can't take you seriously. Yeah, hey, I wanted to turn it up a notch, so we're doing a romantic video today about a YouTuber eating himself to death for views. Secondly, I wanted to turn it up even farther by lighting a candle on set. This one is by 1213 Candle Company, which is handmade with love by personal friends of ours local to the area. So as I said, what could be more romantic than uh, checking up on our old boy, Nick Ocado Avocado here? You know, I did a video about him on my main channel somewhat recently. My wife's only exposure to him was in a video from over two years ago where I was- I actually don't even believe that we've been doing this for two it's years, almost so. Been th it's been three now in July. June. But either way, I'm officially turned on. We did a, <laughs> wow. Oh, just cause you saw the thumbnails yeah. right here? Yeah, Pizza Hut big dinner box. My wife's like, ooh, it's getting a little hot in here. I already had lunch, Good but I'm Lord. hungry. Uh, Nick Ocado has just been a mainstay in the commentary community and he just continues to spiral out of control. It's like a bad car accident you can't keep your eyes off of. I mean, to his credit, he's quite the entrepreneur, but he's doing it at the expense of his own health and his life, which you only get one of. So yeah, he came up in 2018 and let's just see where we're at here. Let's, I mean, there was some was serious thing. drama last time. That's all I know. Oh yeah, it was all drama related last time. Now the whole narrative has shifted to like, oh my God, he's really actually killing himself for views. So let's start out with this video that starts in 2016 when Nick Hikata was a full-fledged vegan violinist who started just dabbling in the- Are you kidding the, me? He was dead serious. He was a vegan violinist. You're kidding. Part of the vegan community, yes. This is why it's so, this is why the transformation is so impactful. It just, it's so motivational in so many ways because it's like, listen, if you're healthy, and you love music and you want to slowly kill yourself too, you can do it and make millions of dollars in the process. So let's take a peek. This just kind of goes through. But here we are together. This is the best. Uh, this is a good- We're eating. It's a good synopsis video. And we're alive and we're healthy. We're healthy. I hope you're healthy. Uh, I hope I'm healthy. I'm not. But we're here, you know? We're doing okay. We're making it through day by day, step by step. The bird, I'm dying. And then you get right to this part. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Sorry, I skipped to the end because the juxtaposition of those two clips is like my favorite thing on the planet. But let's go back. We'll see the slow transformation. Oh my we'll see the slow transformation. 2016, and now we're moving into 17. Good lord. Cheers. Cheers to a wonderful meal. Coca-Cola. So we're starting off just, you know, a couple bags of ramen, spicy noodles. We're drinking the soda now. Uh, he Eventually, went... he definitely starts eating cheese. Oh, j the things, <laughs> we'll check up on what he's doing <laughs> lately. Daily. That is spicy, but that is good. Still pretty reserved. Like, it's so insane to see how he responds to, like, continually growing his brain and getting more and more in touch. Anti-vegan. Here, Here he is. Here we go. We are full. Like Pull you in. Well, I, mean, I don't know how. I don't know how frequent it is. The triple decker, dude. Mm. Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be absolutely ravished after watching this video. I know. But, That's so kind of a problem. Part of the interesting. I'm so excited. Oh, so excited. One of the interesting parts about his transformation Here we go. is I love a nice Big Mac. like he goes through several years of kind of like denial, where. And I think, I don't know if it was actual denial or if he's just kind of playing this character where he like, he doesn't understand why he's getting fatter and he thinks he has a thyroid problem and he calls it water weight. You'll see now the way he's branded it. It's so weirdly perverse where like, he's he's so clinically unhealthy now at like over 350 pounds and he, his merch is called, it's over just water weight. It's just water weight, his shirt says, and I identify as skinny. That's like his new thing. Oh, it's he's so really taking it dude, to the next Oh level. my God, yeah, it's Holy. nuts, dude. This is, wait, this is more intense yeah. than I could have imagined. Oh yeah, I know, you have no idea what I you're in for right now. I don't even understand, so let me just watch. Yeah, I'm yeah, all right. Confused. So this video, we don't need to watch the whole thing. I mean, I gotta say this, I have a little bit of a hard time talking about someone's mm. weight, but this guy's clearly putting himself out there yes, yes. with guess, a lot of intent. Yeah. I'm not doing this in any way that's negative towards people that struggle with weight problems. Lord height. knows I have, and Lord knows, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I have, you can say it. But this is, uh, <laughs> this is a whole nother level of the abuse of one's body and using that as a branded mm -hmm. thing to create a mm -hmm. career and it, it's, mm -hmm. it's like self-aware, but he's also like a food addict. You can see, like, it's a very kind of wow. weird, peculiar, sad mm -hmm. thing. Is he dipping that sandwich? <laughs> Here we go, right? I don't in. want these doodles. <laughs> this is probably the best I don't want maple syrup. 
What was? I think that was maple syrup. Oh, syrup. Just chicken a big, and okay. Chicken and syrup. Or okay. Chicken and waffle. I don't know. Things are really getting out of hand. This is <laughs> last year. <laughs> He's an entertainer. I'll tell you that much. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> that kills me. Yeah. All right, so this is 2022. That's a five-year, uh, six-year transformation. The muffin. Okay. How many LBs do we think he's put on since he started? Over 200. So it was like really? 150 to 160, and he's recently weighing in around 360, and he continues to gain. Which, uh, listen, I said this on my main channel. I don't care, man. You want to kill yourself for views, like, whatever. Uh, like, I have no dog in this fight. And there's all people in the comments, it's so controversial about like, the thing that gets me is there is, you know, that's kind of would might be offensive to some people where there's videos of him just like blaming it on a thyroid problem. Like no yeah, account, yeah. no accountability for, you know, his actions leading to the consequences he's seeing. And I think he's at the point now where he gets it and he's just playing it up. Let's go, like, we're talking about a character. Like Nick Akato is an entertainer, okay? He was a theater major in I believe college or whatever. And he is just slowly over the years, more and more adopted this persona that's turned into this like, what it is, it's this guy who is spiraling out of control and he's doubling down in a way that's like, you can't tell if it's authentic or not. That's such a convoluted mess of like actual addiction versus like the attention and the money that is incentivizing him to do it. Yeah. And then this, you know, part so of him that's back like, off. yeah this part of it where he's like on also openly honest and real with the fact that he can't stop he doesn't know how and he's like spy, you know constantly crying in these videos so, so imagine being addicted addicted to food and junk food particularly and then being paid to consume it there you go there you have it that is the that is the current <laughs> day that is the current day uh, you know content model for online entertainers so just to give you an idea how far his character has gone want to buy this shirt you can go to my look this is what he does now. <laughs> he drives around on a mobility scooter. What? <laughs> That's for fun though, no? Yeah, I mean, he can walk, obviously. This is, this. it's, it's, he's this doing a bit. This place is a mess. There's no room in this Where's the bed? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's funny, Jeez. like, I get it. It is. <laughs> but it's oh, sad. It's like, sa sad and funny. I'm here in the in the woods. You should call a dietitian. I'm trying to get my exercise. Today's a very special day. This place is disgraceful. Whose job is to clean this up? He's got the American flag. Oh, shit. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> this, did you say this? Today is a special day. I can't. Ah! Uh, Shores, this can't hold my weight. Discriminatory. I identify as skinny. So just to the, watching the 2016, him just like, I uh, hope you're healthy. I'm healthy. I'm doing okay. And then just going right to this is yeah. like, holy no. cow, no. what attention and money can do to some people. He does this bit. So this is one of his more recent videos. He does this bit for like 10 minutes. Like it's aggressive. Like going, I don't know. It's way too long. I don't know why he does it so long. Probably fun. <laughs> I guess. I mean, what is I have a grand old time uh, rolling yeah. around Target. Your, like your that. dream is taking a mobility Target. scooter around Target. You're doing. You're going. You're going in the wrong direction if you want to be able to use a mobility scooter. <laughs> what? I can't. Oh, that's discriminatory. I can't be thinner Excuse and me. use a scooter. Yeah, exactly. That is true. He identifies as skinny. You can just be skinny and use, <laughs> use a mobility scooter. I would definitely crash into a rack of t-shirts. Yeah, I mean, he's going sure. He's going pretty high speed here, like ripping around. The, the horn. I don't know if part of this bit was because he was doing a, a mukbang collaboration with this girl, Tammy, who's like, her whole bit is like Southern redneck degenerate. They love us. They love you. <gasps> they think you bring out the best of me. Oh. Yeah, that's so nice. A uh, lot of noodles. I'm trying, like, so, like, the spicy ramen noodles, we did that one, obviously, for the spice, obviously not for the quantity. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But these seem to be the most popular. Like, if you look at his channel now, let's just browse through. It's about as messy as it gets to No, eat. but look at how good these thumbnails are. Yeah. I mean, as far, yeah. like, just absolute, like, neon Ooh, colors. Incredibly eye-catching. Him making out with his husband, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Who, that's a whole other story, the drama between him and his husband. No, they're split now. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Huge, dramatic, like him coming out making an exposed video about how Nick was the worst thing that's ever happened to him and manipulative and abusive and all these things. Crazy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It just goes, it never ends. So look at the blue top. Is that what they call Takis? Extremely blue heat Takis. Yeah. Do you want to, do, if you wanted to pick one, that one's got 4.8 million. You want to I take do, a look? and I also want to try those. So the main channel, though, like he doesn't upload as much on this main channel, but he has three channels where he's uploading nonstop and they all have like several million subscribers, I think. Let's take a look here. Are his three oh, channels God. intentionally like different types of content? So, so this is seven months ago. I didn't know how long he'd been doing this bit for. Uh, one of them's more personal, like drama, like, hey, let me just talk to the camera, like Trisha Paytas style. This one's more... Oh, so he's been doing this mobility scooter bit for like seven months. I had no clue. Or more, like in the last year. I guess people seem to love it. What do the comments say? Please stop. We love cheese. Succulent. I like blue Takis. <laughs> what is this? I've never seen it's those. And another parallel. <laughs> Universe. I feel like I'm living in hell after watching this. Edit. Imagine talking with a full of food in your mouth. You are not fat. Well. What? <laughs> Depends on how you want to identify. I recently just Those tried like one of the um, pants at noodles that I got at a. It was okay. It was written in Chinese that it was Filipino, but I got it from a Vietnamese store. So he just talks and talks and talks. People love it. I mean, I will say, like, he is the male Trisha Paytas in the way that he's able to just talk. He can just talk and talk to and talk a camera for fifty minutes at a time. Like, so he's got. I, oh yeah, I think, his videos I, are long. He's, Holy he, mackerel! He's more inter, more impressive than Trisha Paytas to me. Like Trisha Paytas, it. Yeah. You yeah, know how much disdain I, I have I, for her. Okay. I, yeah. We, but at we can be dumb. But dumb at about her. least Nick has like a bit. And he's yeah. like acting, right? So like that piece of it. As sad as it is, like the, the what he's done to himself, at least yeah. he's putting in that. Sad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like there's just a, underneath this whole thing and all the money and the layers of what he's done, there's just like this helplessness and the sadness probably where he feels trapped. Because you do, like, Maybe. this is his life now. But what what a lot of commenters say, like, dude, if you, like, started either another channel or on one of your three channels, we're like, hey, let's do a weight loss journey and really committed and, like, started doing that, like, hired a trainer. Like, he's got the money. Like, do all these things. Make the trainer force you to work out and, like, be do, like, the biggest loser type stuff. People would absolutely watch that. Well. But the problem is, how could you. He has to want that. He has to want that. But also. How could you keep up the frequency and consistency of the absolute insane amounts of fried fast food calories you eat for views? I mean, that that is the you can't the penultimate of his content is just gorging. So I it can't would believe have how to long a, the videos are, though. I just, oh yeah, fifty minutes. Until you said that, I didn't realize people, that this video was fifty minutes. Absolutely love it. Ooh. Five million views. I just want to see these blue talkies. Like, when do you add the blue in? Here we go. Cold water so that it stays. So we're like 23 minutes no, in and the mukbang hasn't even started yet. So that's just no, yeah. not. He's making feature oh, okay. length films. So there he is. Here's my noodles. He's going to dab those And this blue. is what they turned oh. out to be like. Oh, you already had it. Gonna lay it right there. Now, I know it doesn't look like that much, but this is actually eight packs. Eight packs of the Takis. He's got the Takis too. Does this make me look fat? <laughs> Comments. I'm curious about the gloves. This video. Uh, he does that a lot. Okay. Uh, Leave your thoughts. I think just because they're like mixed in with his hands, it's super spicy haters. stuff. He's probably wiped his face Don't so many times me. that he's like, you know, I don't know. A lot of people actually keep coming for me for my weight. Excuse you. There you go. I am a normal American size. <laughs> I, mean, I am. That's not wrong. So that's that. Okay, no, that's <laughs> not no. We do have what? a we do have a bit of an epidemic in the country with obesity, but 300. 50 plus pounds is not a normal size. <laughs> it's still okay. But I would say you're definitely you're definitely gonna, you're definitely gonna fit right in in America. If you like are this size in like a European country or something, it would be much more sore thumb type of stuff. I remember when I visited my sister in Romania when I was in college, I was like 290. I was fat, but I was strong as an ox. Like I was huge, 6'3. And I went over there and people just were like, would stare at me like I was some sort of freak because we're talking Eastern Europe, like Romania, there's just no, I don't know, there's just not a lot of big people over there comparatively. So it was very like, oh my God, it was an interesting experience. You look like a giant. Yes. People are like, oh, you're overweight. Excuse me, I am healthy. Well, mm. all right. Mm. But this is, mm, it smells, <sighs> I actually smell the sesame seed oil. 
This has a stick of butter. Ooh. <laughs> it is the cheesiest ramen noodle you could ever make for another person. <gasps> Actually, looks. I would absolutely so eat the crap out of that. I love sesame. Oh my god! Here I go. Here I go. He's, he's already, his mouth is already blue. Don't pretend like he isn't. Maybe he's eating the takis already. <laughs> Taste <laughs> test the takis. Imagine this. Look, this is this is entertainment. <laughs> Just a big <laughs> moaning man. <laughs> ah! If you I get, come is this home from the store with right now? no, <laughs> it's making me hungry. If I come home from the store with Takis later, you'll know why. Yeah, dude. We have been- Never bought them in my life, We have been ever. victims to thought control. Oh my. So unlike Stoney, who finishes all his challenges, he just makes big stuff for the thumbnail and he eats a lot. I feel like a lot of you guys judge me way too much. Never finishes it, no. Way too much. <laughs> yes. You need to relax, stop judging me. I'm, I'm a human being. A human being. Hey, what else? Well, he's desperate I'm to be so judged. Did he say I feel so skinny today? Is I think he so. Said? Yeah. So this is another one of his three channels where he's doing the same thing. Like he just does mukbangs on all his channel. Like look at the, he's doing these like daily on this second channel. I don't this know why. This is more like fast food. Yeah, so he's doing these fast food ones. It looks like a lot of solo ones. It looks like maybe his main channel is more like, it look only collabs now, looks like. He's almost doing all collabs because that's where the majority of like the bigger bangers come from. But then to do this daily in addition to the main channel ones, oh my God. Oh, maybe he still is married with his husband. I, I have no idea. What do you want? Um, turn it off. Oh, so this whole channel. Oh, uh, you're mad now? What? What? His main channel is more like focused on the skits and the mukbang and the collaborations. This one is like the, the mix of drama, personal life drama while crying and eating a ton of fast food. Got it. And he died. I mean, it's so toxic. I've seen clips over the years of like between him and his husband where it's like, it's not a bit, you know what I mean? Like they're just genuinely like vitriolic and nasty to each other on camera. And it's like, you know, that's even worse probably when the camera's off. I don't know. It's very, very bizarre. Say? Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. By the way, did I tell you that he has NSFW content? No. So he did Patreon 18 yeah. plus for a while where he was like taking pictures of his spread asshole and doing like adult content. What? <laughs> I'm gonna actually wake up. I'm gonna find what? against my against the moral code in my in the fiber of my being. I'm gonna find the picture one day uncensored, no, and I'm gonna wake you up out of a dead sleep at 2 a.m. with that picture. You are not. Yeah. You <laughs> imagine, won't live. Imagine if I did that. You won't live to tell honey, the story after. Honey, wake up! I have something important to show you. Bam! Nick Akato spread starfish 2 a.m. You're like. <laughs> they would definitely be vomit. That would be so good. Come on, dude. I would. Uh, That's really out there. Oh yeah, he's done. I don't know the extent of the adult content that he's done, but it's uh, again same parallel to Trish Paytas. Same thing with her. Yep, that's what she does. Makes all this money doing OnlyFans stuff. So I just gotta say, you're skipping around a lot. First of all, Tom. so I'm not seeing a lot. But I get the gist from what you're telling me of what's going on with this stew. But sure? I gotta say, it's hard to talk about because there's just too much conflict out there around people and weight and blah, blah, blah. And like, just because he's fat Whoa. doesn't mean he's unhealthy and yada, yada. But based on what he's eating, I think it's pretty <laughs> It's pretty clear. obvious. Yeah, that, so that's kind of the, the bottom line for me is like, obviously it's a sensitive subject for a lot of people. Like anytime I've talked about weight or like I've done, I've done videos on other shows, like a lot of TLC shows where they track like this this obsession with morbidly obese people is a huge focal point of entertainment in reality television now. Morbidly obese twins, morbidly obese best friends, like they're, you know, these, these A&Es and TLC networks are capitalizing on this obsession we have with these people just trying to live their lives. They're human beings, they're people, but we've kind of like taken their struggle and like monetized it to like this general audience who can just kind of like sit on their couch and watch in awe of these people who are struggling to live like normal lives. Yeah. So there is a part of me philosophically that I I don't like it, but I'm also just the type of person's like, whatever. I mean, this is kind of how we are as a, as, a, as a species now. We like to gawk and laugh and, and be nosy and worried about other people's struggles. And Nick Akato has kind of taken that, the mainstream obsession where they make these reality shows and he's, he's like the YouTube version of that. Yeah. He's done it very successfully. Dramatic, 
I think the part that's saddest is that these are real issues that that people have and a lot of people struggle with food addiction and weight. Like that is one of the most relatable struggles, I think, for anybody, any family. And he's kind of making a mockery out of the whole thing because it makes him a lot of money. Sure. I think that's what people struggle with. Some people might be genuinely concerned with his health. I like who care? Like, why are you gonna worry about some dude doing this to himself on the internet? Yeah, I don't it's care. up to him to figure yeah, it's out up if to he him. wants to do something. You gotta figure that out. But when you boil it all I down. I agree though that he could make some content out of it if he decided to To put spin it around. around. Yeah. I don't know if maybe there's some master plan. I think maybe I feel like he might have been delusion like had this delusion going into it that that's what he was gonna do. And at some point he got too far gone and now he's so- There's no such thing. He's so, no, I just mean, I don't mean like, of course there's no such thing. There's okay. always time to turn it around. I just meant with the amount of, maybe he didn't know how much attention and money he was gonna make. So now it's like, when you tie it so tightly to, you know, an incredible amount of revenue and attention- Yeah, and your livelihood. It's, yeah, it's very, it's different than just kind of like having a late night snacking addiction in the dark when nobody knows about, right? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you just call yourself out? Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Do you joke about that a lot? I feel like yeah, it comes yeah, up. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why we? We talk about my ice cream addiction. Yeah. We broke up. Oh, is that what they're? Let it die. You keep entertaining them. Let it die. Okay. So they're. Oh, this is so weird. I have to eat for them. I do have to eat. My battery's going to die. I'm just staring at the camera like he knows. So I guess this whole latter half of this video is Let it die. them crying and <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh dear. Is it my fault? <laughs> like these are gen I feel like these are genuine emotions. Like it's just so, you do? it's so twisted, dude. If you've seen the amount of times they oh, do it this, feels like, like so much drama to me. This feels like no, like, yes, no. yes, for the camera. But this dude, like, he got roped into this whole thing. I don't, I don't think he's over there like acting. I think he genuinely is in turmoil. I don't. I oh, I don't know. If, if you've if you've watched like. If you've seen kind of the lead up in the, the the degradation of their relationship over the years, and I haven't seen a lot, but like it is. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this. And then, and yeah, then right exactly. into the, and then right That's into the what, plug. How, how am I supposed to believe? You can buy, you can buy. The guy's emotions. You can buy my merch. Let's follow it up with this. Here's a t-shirt called We Broke Up. It's got a sprite of me and my husband crying on each other. For thirty nine. Do you get why I don't believe it? Of course, I get it. And you have to you have to you know me. Like I there is no one that distrusts content creators on the internet more than me. There's nobody. I know. But so that's why I'm saying like I there is the element, I think mostly from Nick, I don't trust here his husband. Like he's a dude, <clears throat> he's attached to it. He's now probably comfortable with the lifestyle of not having to worry about money all of these things, but that doesn't mean he's happy. Like, so I think there's a lot of genuine turmoil that comes out on these videos, even though they're being made for the purpose of entertaining and getting views. Yeah. There was um, there was one where he was sitting, I think it was on the other channel, mm. um, where he was just sitting in a hospital shirt or shirtless or something like that. It said, I went to the hospital. Oh, that's, yeah, I know. So. Oh, I was geez. just curious. Last Everyone, thing. This is my this vlog. This looks more like a vlog, the... yeah journey I'm about to embark on. If you click this video, you already know what's going down. Not sure what video I'm even putting this in. The beginning of a mukbang. Maybe it's for patrons. I don't know how in-depth this is going to be. It's a very long video. Apparently, he has a lot of testicular pain. So he goes on to say- How I do you know? Because I, I had to do research when okay. I was making the channel, my main video on my main channel. And he goes on to say he thinks he has cancer and he starts using that as click. I think actually, I think one of the thumbnails of his title Seriously, one of the titles for his video, and he might have changed it, was like, I have cancer or something. Like, wicked clickbait. <laughs> yeah. I think, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure I saw that in a video that was made about him, but. She's like, I don't, it doesn't feel like a hernia. She's like, go ahead and cough for me. So she feels one of the golf balls. And I go, eh, eh. Maybe they're She's enlarged. Like, okay, do the other side. Eh, eh. She's like, I can't feel anything. So what we have to do is an ultrasound. In the meantime, we'll give you an antibiotic to help with the pain. Because if, if it is a UTI, then that will solve the issue. So in the meantime, while you're waiting for the ultrasound, and I told her, I'm like, well, probably UTI. 
could it be an ultra? Could it be a oh, UTI no. if I don't have any pain while I go to the bathroom? She goes, it, it could be. It uh, could be, yes, really. but probably Standard, not. Yes, most people have pain going to the bathroom. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be. It could be just some type of infection. You can there. tell that pretty quickly um, with the urine test, though. Your... What UTIs? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Easy to yeah, diagnose. Easy to know. There's no answers yet. Okay, so yeah, he spends the next, <clears throat> you okay. know, the rest of the video being like, I think I have cancer. They can't tell me what's wrong. I mean, super dramatic fucking Nick Cotto. So that's, I mean, that's. You I have mean, a medical I think problem. We've... You wait for the test. You get the results. <clears throat> and make 55 vlogs in the process while you wait to get a ton of views by convincing people you're dying. We've seen that before. What a trip, huh? Oh. Are you hooked yet? No. Do you want to subscribe to all three channels and watch everything that comes no. out? No. Those yeah. videos are way too long. So long. I mean, my wife can barely sit through a TikTok, for Christ's sake. I don't know. Like, I can't imagine. Imagine sitting down on your couch is with popcorn and watching. I have to imagine. He probably has clips. Yeah, I'm sure. I have no idea. But anyone worth their salts on TikTok. Oops. Yeah. So he's come a long way since the 2016 150-pound vegan violinist. For sure. He is now the 360-pound, I might have testicular cancer. It's only water weight. I identify as skinny. Mobility cart. American flag waving, uh, disabled scooter enthusiast. How'd you like that? That was good. It's tough. Hey, it's incredible what a little drop of clout and a bit of money will do to someone. What a story. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm curious to see where it goes. Is he gonna get 400 pounds, 500, 600? Will he turn it around? Who knows? I think, I think Only one day. You think he's gonna turn it around? I think one day. You got hope for Nick Cotto? I absolutely do. I Listen, it's never too late for anyone to make healthier decisions. Correct. And that's a fact. Uh, so we'll see what happens. In the meantime, thank you guys for joining us during this uh, trip down. Well, not avocado. I get, lane. Yeah, avocado. <laughs> this trip down Nagacado, Nicaragua. I can't lane. say the name. Yeah, say it. Nick, say it. Oh, uh, I can't. Yeah, do I it. Say can't. the name. Hey, I gotta read Nicaragua avocado. Hey, uh. we love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Deuces. <laughs>